Oh, hey there. Welcome to Life Wax, where we try to make your life a little bit more livable. Let me ask all your cool daddy-o's a question. Could you use a little extra folding dough in your pocket? I know a lot of you could. Maybe you want to take your best girl out on a night of town, take her to a malt shop so you can split a soldered water, or maybe you want to take her to one of those swinging jazz clubs run by the colored folks. I don't know, it seems to be the rage for all the kids nowadays. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do with it, all I'm here to do is tell you how to make a little extra dough. Heh. <laughs> Now, you may have noticed those white bicycles people have just left around the neighborhoods, making them look all trashy and whatnot. What we're going to do in this life wag is not only beautify up our neighborhoods, but we're going to turn that trash into cold, hard cash. Now, you may need to get yourself a bolt cutters, because people like to chain the trash up to poles for some reason. I don't know, they're crazy, they're cuckoo in the head or something. You go ahead, snip that chain, grab that bicycle, throw it in the back of your truck, and go on and get on out of there. No problem. Now that you got that bicycle at your house, go ahead and set it up and we're going to start cleaning all the land flotsam off of it. Like that trashy old cross there and those flowers made of plastic. You know those are bad for the environment, right? I'm not trying to kill any baby sea turtles, are you? I don't think so. We're God-fearing Americans. Now that you got it all cleaned up, I'm going to tell you the tools you're going to need. Hand tools. Sandpaper. Paint thinner. Spray paint, give the old one-two skidoo, and of course, fire! There you go, now you're cooking! Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to fix a bicycle up, cause I don't think you're an Nancy boy, are ya? What you're gonna do is just roll your sleeves up and give it some good old elbow grease. You got it! <laughs> and oh boy, all those blood, sweat, and tears finally paid off for ya! Look what you got there. A nice, beautiful, shiny new bicycle. What you want to do next is get on your little computer phone, right? And post a picture of that on one of those uh, apps or websites or whatever you can sell things on. And just sit back and wait for the money to roll in. And look at there. A customer already. Yeah, I didn't think it'd take too long because, like they say, there's a sucker born every second. Now all you have to do is show off your salesman skills. But don't worry. All your hard work will sell itself, really. You just got to be there and collect that whole... Stone Cold Cash. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And there you go. You got yourself a whole American dollar. Like I told you, you'd be rolling on the cash. And look at you now. Now all the kids are going to call you Big Money Johnson. Ah, so doing research for this episode, I realized those trash bikes are actually called ghost bikes. For some odd reason, I don't know why. But they're in most major cities, so it doesn't matter where your adventures take you, you can make some extra cash. <laughs> Ah. And who might you be? Uh, you a flat foot or something? Why have you disturbed and desecrated my earthly memorial? I'm not catching what you're putting down there, ghost. What do you mean? Those bikes are put out to mark the spot where cyclists have lost their lives in accidents with motor vehicles. Oh. Ah, a second, ghost. Now I'm just going crazy. Who are you? I, sir, am the spirit of capitalism, and I'm here to tell you to never allow sentimentality to get in the way of making your fortune. All right, Buster, maybe you should explain. I mean, I would bulldoze the land my sweet mother's buried in just to fill a chicken farm if I thought it'd make me a dollar or two. And you need to start thinking the same way if you want to be a winner. No! To properly succeed as a person, you must have compassion. And understanding! Ah! Poppycock! Do you think a successful person dies on a child's mode of transportation like a bicycle? Boulder Dash! We die alone at night, holding a glass of brandy, having never hugged our children. Hmm. Wow, I sure find myself in such a predicament right here. Uh, I don't know if I should, you know, live a carefree life of just taking these bicycles, which now I know are memorials to people. Or, you know, be an enterprising young man and try to make as much money as possible. <laughs> I sure do have a conundrum in my hand. What should I do? I don't know, maybe you should tell me in the comments there what I should do. What would you do? 